So here we look at contour plot and it shows a three dimensional surface in two dimensions. So we are going to use this data called Little Pond. You can come to help and then sample data library. And then you can search Little and then just double click on Little Pond and the data will load. So let's load our table. So we have this X, Y, and Z component. And then you can come into Graph Builder. And then under Graph Builder, let's go to Contour Plot. Under Contour Plot, we have our columns, which is X, Y, and Z. So over here in Contour Plot, you have um, X, Y, and Z, which is 3D. But then you only have Y and Z. So for the for the Y, this becomes your Z. So let's select this, then it goes to the Z. And then for your X, you have your X and Y both. So you can, you can put both X and Y here. And then um, we'll come back here. So let's hit OK. So you have your contour plot accordingly. So here on the contour plot, there are some options where you can specify the number of contour levels. You can also choose the plot contour lines or field contour. You can show a high data point, label contours with response value, define and use custom coloring scheme. So you can come into the options and then first you can show a high data point if you want to see the data point. Now we are showing the contour, you can have that. You can also show the boundary or hide the boundary. So now the boundary is gone. Um, you can also show control panel or not. So you have the control panel where you have the alpha um, value over here. So you can go to transform if the contour plot includes a color row. The transform option is enabled. And then also fill area. So for instance, fill area, then you have this. And then your legion updates from lines to this color scheme. And then you can also play with it accordingly. And then you can also change the contours. So if you do not select option in the launch window, remember I said we'll get back to it. Uh, specify contours and also revert contours. Let's come back to redo and then relaunch. So this is the specify and retrieve that we're talking about. And then you could have also checked this one here so that it fills with line. And then you can also put a data in there. So here you can specify a color theme by selecting a continuous. So if you hit um, this one, you can then specify the stuff. So you can specify the number of contours, the minimum, the max, and then just specify the contours here accordingly. You can also go to um, file and then come over to preferences. And then under preferences, you go to graphs. And then here you can customize the color theme so that if you always choose something, you can always have it when you plot because this is the um, one that is the default. You can also preset it accordingly. You can also change the whole color scheme by coming to the legend here, right clicking on it. And then you, you have the option of let's say gradient. And then under gradient, um, you have this dialog box open where you can change the color theme. So you have this option and then you can change it. You can also go to custom color theme and just customize your, your color theme accordingly. So let's choose something like, let's say this one. And then um, there's also the lightness range, which sets the range of intensities for the, for the coloring. So you can just adjust that. It just sets the range of colors. And then you also have the number of labels so this specifies the number of labels for your legend. And then, so you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can, let's say, reduce it and then it changes the number of labels or make it even more. And the more you make it, the more colors it adds to it as well. 
you can also change um you can also show missing color so now it's auto but you can put it on and off and then scale type you, you have log you can change it from the linear scale and then also the range type can be changed here and you can also change the minimum and maximum value so here the minimum is minus 6 to 10 you can also change that accordingly and also have a reverse scale reverse colors and show label so here it helps you to customize the legend and then the the graph accordingly once you also right click there are also options for line colors so you can add line colors line width so it's one let's say let's make it four and then you can add those lines to the legion as well and the transparency can also be changed accordingly next is the graph area itself so you can also right click and change the background color this won't be beneficial unless you're using the lines but you can also come to background map marker size just change the graph area accordingly